Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new and fresh episode. It is your favorite YouTube plumber. It is I, Crypto Plumber. This video will strictly be about GPU mining and overclocking and undervolting your GPU cards with the MSI Afterburner app. So for all of you who don't want to watch this, just close out now and uh, keep it moving. <laughs> all right, guys. First, I wanted to give a big shout out. My channel is growing. This is awesome. I really appreciate the support from the YouTube community. Right now, I'm sitting at 341 subscribers. I really, really appreciate the love. All right, guys. Let's get right into it. As most of you know, or especially you new first-time viewers, I happen to be a miner. Not only do I mine Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash with the Antminer S9 ASIC miners, I also have a four GPU card uh, Ethereum mining rig set up. And right now we're looking at a screen share with that rig. And right here you'll see in the middle of the screen I have the MSI Afterburner control set up. Now, if we click the little arrow right there, we'll see that I have control of the four mining cards. They're right there. So just clicking that little triangle guy will make that pop up, and we can individually control each mining card. Now, on this mining rig, I am ri um, running a Claymore, which is hooked up and configured to Nanopool, and all four cards are doing that. And at the same time, I am also running uh, NiceHash, you know, mining Ethereum and let's see what else. These algorithms here and NiceHash pays out in Bitcoin. I just let this run where once in a while, which is basically every other day. It does crash and it reboots and, you know, the apps restart. But I'm still fine, you know, tuning and tweaking the GPU card settings uh, with the MSI Afterburner program. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> One of the first things you're going, you're going to want to ascertain when you, you are modifying the GPU settings with the Afterburner program is you need to know more information about your specific um, graphic cards. So I use a program called Tech Power Up. And I'm just going to put it right over here, out of the way. I'm going to move my MSI Afterburner. And one of the main things that you need to know is the type of memory that your GPU card is using or your graphic card is using. Now, the most manufacturers, like NVIDIA, uh, use one of two different manufacturers of their memory. One is Micron, which you can see right here on the memory type, and the other is Samsung. Now, you need to know this when you're adjusting the settings uh, in the Afterburner program. All right, so let's go right into it. Right now, I'm working on the first card, which is a GTX 1080 Ti, and these settings have been working for me. Um, I don't really care about power consumption, so I have that at 100%. You can go as high as 120% if you want. Uh, and I matched the temperature limit uh, to link with the power limit. But the biggest settings are the core clock and memory clock. Now with memory clock, you know, you'll be able to um, overclock your card. And with memory clock, you can, I'm sorry, with memory clock, sorry, <laughs> you'll be able to uh, overclock your card. And with core clock, you're basically uh, you know, underpowering the voltage to it and you can undervolt and maximize efficiency with the card. So I found with the 1070s and 1080s that again, I keep fan speeds you know, a little over 80, between 80 and I don't try to go to 100, between 80 and 90%. I never try to run them at 100%. I keep my memory clock usually around 600 and this is very easy to change. You just Click there, you type in 600, and you hit enter. And when you're done, you'll hit the little checkbox like that. 
All right. Uh, the core clock, I like to adjust in uh, intervals of 10. And I found that 100 works very well for me. So when you're done, you know, changing configurations of each card, you hit the checkbox and then we go on to the next. So let's go to number two right now, which also happens to link with number three. I'm just going to close that out and you'll see that I am now on a GTX 1070 Ti card. And the settings are the same. My power limit's at 100, core clock's at 100, but with the 1070s, I lower them to 500. And on this, which is set to 100, we're going to make this 80. And hit OK and hit the checkbox, and that will save that configuration. And you'll see if I pick number three, it's the same. All right. When I go to number four, which is a GTX 1070 card, not a TI card, just a 1070, same settings. 100% uh, power limit, 100, uh, 100 on the core clock, 500 on the memory clock, and the fan speed at, at 80. Now, there are some YouTubers out there or some miners out there that have clocked the memory clock to 1,000. Now, when I did that, I didn't really see much of a performance gain. I actually saw a decrease. So let's close that out. Let's go to, let's see, is it this one? Yes. It's kind of very hard to see, but you'll see right here at the bottom that GPU zero is at a little under 23 mega hashes. GPU, now it's at 27, 20, almost 28, yeah. GPU one is at 21 and a half. GPU 2, uh, hold on a sec, sorry about that guys, I am also a plumber and when the phone rings I do need to answer it, um, and you can see that GPU 2 running with the Claymore, uh, the Clay, uh, Claymore miner, I have oh, it's about 6.6 .6 and GPU 3 about 10. Um, in nice hash, which I'm doing it simultaneously at the same time, you know, you could see the speeds of the algorithms there. Um, again, I'm still tweaking and, tw and um, twer uh, tweaking. Yeah, still tweaking the configurations of the four cards. If any of you guys have some uh, feedback that you'd like to enlighten me on, uh, that would be greatly appreciated because I'm looking. It's hard to see. But it looks like my total speed with the Claymore uh, mining Ethereum is right around 84 mega hashes. And I think that I should be able to tweak this. But without using MSI Afterburner, you know, you just have factory default settings, you know, for your cards and you're uh, not working with anything, you know, modified. So you're getting raw performance of the card out of the box. So if you have an MSI motherboard, you know, it's really important to use MSI Afterburner. There are a lot of other YouTubers there that like to change the display format that's here. And you can do that by going to user interface and changing the skin. A lot of people use this version 3 skin, Big Edition. I'll show you what that looks like right now. There you go. I happen to like the other one. This makes things a little more clear, but I happen to like the other version. All right, guys, that's it for now. Quick little video. I don't want to drag this on too long. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, check out, you know, on my main channel page, um, there's a playlist for all of the GPU and, and, um, and uh, <laughs> ASIC miner videos that I've created. Uh, if you have any feedback, thoughts, comments, criticism, you know, drop them down below. You know, I am a small YouTuber. I do personally respond to every single video. And again, I just want to share my personal experiences with the rest of the community out there. And hopefully, you know, we can all learn together. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a great one.